In AFL-loving top-end Indigenous communities, Kevin Sheedy is as close as it gets to football royalty. At Essendon, he helped discover some of the greats of the game, including Tiwi Islander Michael Long. He's now coaching Sydney's fledgling second team, the Greater Western Sydney Giants, and is again looking to the Northern Territory to find some future football stars. Sheedy hopes a new relationship with the Aboriginal community on remote Elko Island will unearth some new talent and change lives. Daniel Parry reports. Football legend Kevin Sheedy is a long and bumpy plane ride away from the MCG. He's come to Elko Island, 500 kilometres east of Darwin, to scout for new recruits. Football is an obsession on this isolated island off the Territory's north coast. The main community of Galawinku has a population of just over 2,000. More than 700 of them play football in 32 local teams. Ludicrously popular. I absolutely love it. Can't get enough of it. Yeah, I'm just a footy freak, you know. Love footy, it's my passion. I love so much footy in my life. It's a fast and free-flowing brand of football that's caught the Greater Western Sydney coach's eye. Well, it's flair. It's Hollywood. I think that's what um, we like about the Indigenous players and we never want them to change that. Um, they take little wrists inside packs. Their hands are gifted. I think they're very exciting players. Sheedy hopes there's a future star amongst them and is passionate in believing the sport can change lives. I think. Football is definitely a, a bridge building cable now and I think the Giants now could actually, by being up here and us coming up here, we can actually connect. Well done on your career. The island is perhaps best known for its musical exports including blind singing sensation Jeffrey Gorimal Unipingu. But Sheedy thinks Elko could one day be just as famous for its footballers. I think the boys, um, they've got speed. Uh, you just don't know what we're missing out on in the country when you see the speed of some of these boys that have never been trained to be athletes, let alone the skills of Aussie rules. When I was playing here, yeah. it was all gravel. The game has come a long way on Elko from some very humble beginnings and the local football officials couldn't be more proud. They started a long time ago, but they didn't have any jumpers. They were using paint to make a jumper in their skin. But now, it's really good that we now have to play football. I have to do it on the sleeve. Sheedy's right? visit to Elko Island is the latest instalment in a career-long commitment to Indigenous football that's won him a legion of fans in the bush. I think he is probably still the biggest name in Indigenous communities in particular in the AFL, and it's very, very rare that there's someone that spans so many decades of footy and is, and is so popular. Now it's good to have him out here and just just a role model for the people out here. The kids, everyone, he's just, yeah, he's just an amazing bloke. Uh, everyone is excited. All community is gathering the church alone and they're loving it. Everyone give the shirt for signature for Kevin Sheedy. At Essendon, Sheedy was a pioneer of Indigenous recruitment, unearthing many stars on the Tiwi Islands, the most famous among them, Norm Smith medalist Michael Long. He really put Indigenous footballers on the map, so to speak. He went by himself, I believe, to the Tiwi Islands and sort of formed the relationship there. And everyone knows the success of, of Michael Long in, in particular. And Sheed just continues to, to beat the drum for Indigenous footballers. And he's been so positive and proactive for all of them. Sheedy's giant side is the youngest in the AFL and he hopes his players can be positive role models for Elko's football-loving teams. There's not that much difference between the team I run out there and the 16 and 17 year olds here. And when you say that to these boys here today, that you know, you're writing to and communicating with a person who's only two years older than you, that's, that's pretty good. 
The Giants are just entering their second season in the AFL and Sheedy's keen to build their profile in Sydney and beyond. But there's a long way to go after a bottom of the ladder finish last year. Well, it's all about relationships and uh, we've got to earn our respect as a Giants, as a club. And, um, and I'm quite sure that uh, the bridge we can build between here and uh, Western Sydney will be marvellous. Who barracks for the Bombers in the AFL? One, two, one, no. Giants! Yeah! Meeting the greater Western Sydney coach is a dream come true for Elko's football fanatics and many hope it might one day open doors into football's big league. I hope you know, one or two, three kids might get picked uh, playing the big top league and yeah, then become one of someone like Kev himself. The next Michael Long. The next Michael Long, next, uh, and now so. I hope they would play for Kevin Sheedy. That's what my hope is to have someone from here playing in the AFL. That would be really great and good for the community. Cheers!